I've never been on my own. I lived with my parents most of my life. Both of them were deceased, and that left me out in the open. I have to take care of myself, take more responsibility. So being in this type of facility, I am on my own, living on my own. I don't know where I would be. Could be on the streets for all I know. I love it here. I felt hopeless. I thought I, I knew that I wasn't going to have a place to live. I had an annuity that I thought was going to ex expire in July of this year, 2019. Well, in April, no check came, and it expired in April. My Social Security is rather meager, and uh, I thought, I am going to be homeless. And I'm just so grateful to L'Oreal, our service coordinator, because she saved my life. She genuinely cared what was going to happen to me. And she gets on the computer and she knows immediately where to start to get me help. Things have just fallen into place. So come September, I'm going to see a, an amazing transformation in my life. We all have our own stories, and we don't talk about our stories much, but we know that we're the same in many ways. This is the first time I've ever lived by myself. I have never, ever lived alone. I enjoy it so much. There's always something going on, something nice. And of course, they feed us. <laughs> it's kind of a family atmosphere. I grew up in Sydney, Australia. Uh, being around uh, a lot of people my age, got lots of different nationalities here, which is a good thing. A lot of time if we have different functions, there's always a, a translator. You can communicate regardless of the language, back and forth. It just goes to show you how caring people are. No matter who you are, where you're from, it's, it's a nice feeling. My wife's name is Rosemary Bigler. In her condition, you know, she's got Alzheimer's. Everybody in here looks out for her. And they take good care of her, and both of them take good care of us. They put up with my corny jokes. My wife, she always lets me get in the last word. I always get in the last word, and the last word is, yes, dear. <laughs> they seem to think I'm a little bit honorary, but it's not true. Well, my life, uh, before I came to Baptist Garden, I was uh, living with my friend, William White. He was uh, 71, that's when he first got sick. And uh, he was in the hospital a couple of times. Between him and then my daughter, Leslie, she was born with spina bifida. I was just going back and forth, taking care of both of them. When he passed, that's when I started looking for a place. My daughter lives like eight minutes from here. When I saw this one, like almost right up the street from her, that's what brought me here. With my new life here, and I knew that would be a, like a new beginning, I was using her to help me get over him. <laughs> she was diagnosed with liver cancer. She passed away on May 15th. That's when I you know, just started meeting with people here. We talk a lot, we laugh a lot. We shared so much, just helping me to get through my process that I needed to get through. 
It's like God had to take two people from me. But he gave me a whole new family here. That's what we are, a community with family here. I had a brother that lived in Toledo, and he was very ill at the time. He was really complaining about the care that he was receiving in Toledo. I started preparing myself to bring him down and, and try to help him have a better life, and that's where National Church Residence comes in. At this point now, he's under hospice. They just helped me take care of him. They were some of the most caring and compassionate people I had ever met in my life. They found out that he was a Dallas Cowboy fan. So he had this little activity person that would come to the house and she had some connects. And he ended up getting a signed Dallas Cowboy football and a letter from the owner. He was in, he was just in his glory. Then when he passed, it was just an overwhelming feeling to, to see how they, they came and turned out for his services. It takes a, a special person to do the type of work that they do. You've got to have that, that special something inside you that make you reach out to people. National Church Residences has changed my life. Everybody in this place has been good to us. Don't tell them I said that. And I thank God for you all. They have changed my life. You saved my life. Plain and simple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. You are the best and I'm a lot stronger than I was a year ago. I just want to say thank you. Thank you with all my heart.